Please, just don't hurt me. There's machines here that used to spray kids with Nuka-Cola. What was wrong with those people? Okay, uh, welcome back to my Fallout 4 Nuka World experience. There's a few things I've got in my list. Bloodworms is one of them. Uh, these strange machines that spray Nuka-Cola, that's another one. And every other beastie out here in the wild, which I'm probably going to come across any minute now. Uh, and I shall try my best to kill them. Even though that, um, their armour is far superior to my guns. Which, I mean, you know, the Overseer's Guardian shoots two bullets. Yes, and I've got the, the flamer, the ghoul flamer, which uh, is alright for some things. Uh, I've got a rocket, I haven't got a rocket launcher, but I've got a grenade launcher, which uh, ignores 30% of the uh, target's armour. And of course I've got Lorenzo's gamma gun. Uh, and a few poison coal throbs. Right, let's get this party started. Right then, so we are here, and I want to go over here. Where that is, there's nothing there, there's bound to be something there, and I should go and find out what it is. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to find a defensive position into which to launch the attack and try to get some creatures to come to me rather than the other way around. Well, that's what I prefer. Right, uh, what do we have down there? Oh, yes, we have some sort of uh, house. Um, and whatever they are, they look like mounds. That's probably what uh, ants come out of. It? So yeah, let's see if we can uh, rustle up anything down there, get them to come over here. That'd be good, and there's something crawling about over there. And let's see if we can get uh, their interest. Okay, so we've got a legendary soldier ant on its way across all his mates. Let's get this party started and ended. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so that was a very short foray. Uh, creatures. I'm assuming the creatures, just like in the Commonwealth, will spawn whenever you come uh, in close proximity to their sensors. Um, and whether these ant hills will regenerate ants, I suppose so. I mean, there's not going to be anything that's going to stop them. They're always creatures. Uh, we really don't know what the laws or the rules concerning Nuka World are. It's all a bit scarce on the internet, where you'd expect to find lots of stuff on it. but. Seeing what I've seen of it already, it's going to be quite difficult for anyone to make a video about anything in Nuka World. It's, yes, this is really, really quite a large map. So I thought I'd make a video that I wanted to see on YouTube about Nuka World. Something a little bit more in-depth, but also to show uh, the different pathways that are available to the uh, sole survivor. And we are the sole survivor, but we are also the sole saviour as well. We've come to save the Commonwealth from itself. And surely that includes Nuka World too. It's important to choose your own battleground, choose the place you want to fight, choose a place where the enemy has to come through two multiple gates to get to you. Well, I'm standing in front of this fence at the moment. I'll move over a little bit. And now they have to come through that area in order to get to me. Safety off. I think we have company.
Hello, I think I found the Havantis. Yeah, there's definitely somebody down there, but I shall make my way over there. Two point? I'll shoot. Well, that was very fortuitous, having all that ammo, this is really going to come in handy for you. Well, thank you, Ethan Michael, for your wonderful, fantastic lead guitar. I love it. And now we talk to the Harbologists. Welcome, stranger. We are Harbologists. You may have heard of us. No? Ah, well, if you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Habology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Well, I'm here. I might as well hear what they've got to say. Habology? What is that? Before the Great War, a brilliant writer named Dick Hubble invented a process for expanding the human mind. Through the process of alignment, he was able to give his followers great mental powers. I am his direct descendant and keeper of all his secrets, collectively known as Habology. If you are really interested in joining us, go speak to Phil about having an alignment. We can help you find inner peace and happiness. We can help you master the amazing powers of the mind. Yes, I know about Hubbard and the Scientology. <laughs> I'm not interested. You haven't even heard my offer. I'll pay you 200 caps to bring back five spacesuits from the Vault Tech display in the Galactic Zone. I thought she was talking about Hubology, not the actual quest. Well, there you go, my dad. What do you need spacesuits for? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. They will protect us in the battle to come. Eh, I'll need more than that for this job. Okay, I'll give you 250 caps. Hmm, still not enough. Driving a hard bargain, I see. Okay, 300 caps. Via previous experience in these sort of uh, situations, I won't go for I'll even more it. money. Good. I'll just do it. If it goes well, I might have more work for you. For now, though, just bring me those spacesuits from the Vault Tech display in Nuka World. Okay, so that's that quest initialized, although it probably hasn't been tagged in the pit boy. I'll have to probably go and do that now. Hey. Another new recruit. As I said before, uh, Hobology is the Fallout 4's representation of the Scientology cult uh, that exists in real life. Right, more often than not, uh, Fallout 4 will not tag the quests that you're currently doing. Like, Trip to the Open Season, I went, it didn't tag it. And Trip to the Stars, it didn't tag that either. So you have to actually manually go into the pit boy and tag it. And then you find out where it is you've got to go. And then we'll go there. Okay, so it's a long walk and we've got to walk there. So we'll have to go there, fight our way through. Anything or everything that's uh, out there, whatever it is. Uh, level 60 click it. Uh, yes, 100% ballistic uh, armor and 100% radiation armor. Right, so it doesn't say anything about flames. I think flames might actually, yeah, no, there's loads of them. They're everywhere. Now, these might be just the wandering monsters, right? or the legendaries anyway, just like we would get in Fallout 4. Um, legendaries. Uh, alongside ordinary ones, no doubt there'll be albino types and all kinds of ones there. We're just going to have to walk over there and just deal with it. 
Uh, right, what we got coming up here? Is this? No, hang on a minute. This is. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the. Uh, oh, I think this might be the junkyard. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, there's something in here. There's a couple of things in here. I think there's a magazine in here or something that we have to get. That we want to get. Right, let's get over there. Uh, yeah, let's get over there. Let's do a perimeter check. Make sure there's nothing to waiting for us over there. That we can jump out and surprise us. Okay, so it looks clean. So quick reload. You never know what how we can go in the next corner. So we'll put it up. I think it's always important to tag an enemy if you can find one, and then it gives you some sort of direction about where it is you've got to go. There's another robot and it's looking aggressive. All right, let's get over there and shut it down. Okay, so that must be one of the robots that used to spray Nuka-Cola, but now it's saying some sort of acid. Right. Well, that's very handy. There's an armor workbench, there's a weapons workbench, and there's a power armor workbench, actually. And what's that? I suspect that there's more to Nuka World than I've uh, previously thought, and as far as killing the raiders, well, I'm going to have to wait until I've discovered the rest of the park and to find out what all the ramifications are. Uh, uh, as far as we know now, there's quite a lot of areas in the park, and each one it rides probably has a quest. There's a magazine. I'll pick that up for you, the Knife King. Hmm. It's showing somebody with two knives, but I, I, I haven't as yet found a way to use two weapons at once. You can only use one weapon at once. I mean, you know, they say the handgun is a single uh, hand, you know, you use one hand to use the handgun, but every time you use the handgun, the, the, you know, the, your character is using both hands on it. And why can't he have a gun in one hand and a club in another hand? I really don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so okay, so this is ah, uh, now this is a star core. Now, I've heard about these. Uh, there's something uh, the power distributor. You would take that as well. It'll come in handy. There, obviously, that's obviously part of another quest, or it might be even part of the same quest. Now we've got to go to Galaxy World and get some spacesuits. Now that that's a ride. Judging by what we've seen here. Uh, by the way, this is going to be my new base. Uh, I've got a landmark for it, so I can pop back any time I want. I can drop all the crap that I carry and, and, and fix up the armor uh, suits, which is what I'm going to do now, uh, before going off to do uh, the rest of this quest trip to the stars, get some spacesuits for the hobologists. Uh, welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience at uh, Nuka World. We're going over to the galaxy area uh, to get some spacesuits for the hobologists for some quest that they've got going. Right, let's get over there. Uh, as quickly and as quietly as possible. Okay, so we've got a target, it's already up, so a swarm, a flying swarm. Now, the, the trick about this uh, the pacifier perk is to get a drop on them. So, I'm a, I've got a stealth field fit, they can't see me, they're going to fly over here, that's their way. And when they're uh, over there, I'll drop, I'll drop on them. Don't move. It's all right. Stop right there. So having the drop on them means that they fly into your target zone uh, where they're unaware that, and you means you can get the first shot, and that's why it works. It's my belief that when you pacify a creature, the creature remains pacified uh, forevermore and, unless you attack it again. Uh, that's just what I've learned. Okay, let's carry on.
Now, it's interesting how uh, Fallout 4 uses creatures to guide you uh, the way they want you to go. You know, there's a couple of uh, glowing blowflies up there, and uh, we'll go we'll quick it's down here. So they, that, they were, you know, they were directing us into this attack zone. Uh, that's how the game Fallout 4 works. Um, it presents uh, a path for you, the least uh, a path with the least resistance, what you think is the least resistance, and you step around the corner and you've got this lot to fight. That's how we do things around here. I always wondered why in Fallout 4 they didn't have spiders, because like spiders would be impossible to fight, you know, if there were like 20 foot spiders, that would be really, really difficult. And I thought, you know, in uh, long term sort of like uh, views of what happens in the radiation, you know, after a war or something like that, uh, I always thought that if the little creatures would grow big, you know, because they, the, they had a carapace to start with, which protected them probably from a lot of the fallout, but then some of the fallout got in and it caused the rest of their bodies to grow big. Uh, the other reason is, of course, that they survived the nuclear war and then they fed on all the dead bodies and that's what made them big. Right, so we're close. Uh, that there is Fistop Mountain, that's where the base is, that's where Gage is waiting for us to talk to him. So as I say, uh, you walk new places and uh, quests start. I mean, you've got to like uh, highlight it in your pit boy first before it will work properly. Uh, find a tears log. Oh, there it is. Okay, so what's this all about? Um, <clears throat> so okay, so I've completed something even though the quest hasn't been highlighted in my pit boy. This is, this is how it works in uh, well, Nuka World and sometimes in uh, the Fallout 4 The Wasteland or any other DLC. Okay, so it's some sort of computer which is running things. Uh, with hindsight, I should have clicked on Star Control and started the quest there and then. As it is, I didn't and that Sports caused that. Uh, undesirable results, which I will explain later as it comes uh, apparent. Okay, so that's the brief for this next quest, Star Control, which is obviously what that star core is for. Um, I'm not sure. I want to do the trip to the stars, but I mean, maybe Star Control is part of that. Anyway, let's uh, carry on in and... Uh Well, that's handy. So you get a Nuka Cola recording tape, which you can play, use on various uh, robots that you can control. I think I'm going to leave McCready here. It, I haven't fitted a stealth um, field to his suit of armor yet. Reserve your tickets now and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster opening soon at Safari Adventure. And I'm thinking that uh, in order to use the robots efficiently, I'm going to need enough of them to be alive. So I'm going to try and shut them all down rather than shoot them. Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. Okay, so that's the situation. The robots are out of control, or they're on uh, attack, attack mode, and we've got to go in there and get some spaces.
Okay, that, well, that was a rush. Um, yeah, so we made our way. We found the starport. I mean, this is the starport. Uh, doesn't look like much. Continuing search. Fugitive has evaded pursuit. Law enforcement authorities now have primary responsibility for apprehension. I know, I know there's a helmet there. T-51F. From what I've read, it seems that the Star Corps is part of a, a mainframe which controls all the robots in this zone and perhaps everywhere else on the map. And so it's uh, essential to fix this uh, mainframe and bring the robots under my control. Nice. If I want to take out the, uh, the gangs, and maybe I need the robots to do it. Okay, so uh, let's carry on and see if we can find out more. Big roll of tickets, and I think there's a key on the table. The keys are always handy in this situation. So that's the Galactic Management Key. Right, let's have a look on here. Looks like an email server, that's all. It looks like they had problems with the system when they turned it on. <laughs> okay, so I play. Well, we can only try and let's see if we can get the protections under our uh, control. Um, I always try it anyway, just in case. Right, let's uh, get these spacesuits and get back to the laboratory. Right, we're going in. Uh, there's a whole heap of robots in here probably, but we do a robot code to shut them all down and perhaps even get one under our control. Right, let's get this party started, ended and finished. Unrelenting sun, life on the surface of this remote, desolate world is all but impossible. A broken attack on a cell. A burning citizen will not be armed. Ah, spacesuit one, excellent. Right, so they got a vault down here as well, but that's interesting. Uh, let's, I'll have to see what's in the vault later. I doubt it's got some stuff in it. Oh, hello, stunt core. Oh, and another space you Excellent. Tourist Pride, Frontier College in the year 2291. Baked by the unrelenting sun, life on the surface of this remote, desolate world is all but impossible. With vault -Tech's modular construction techniques, new columns can be established on almost any building in a matter of minutes. Okay, 
yellow. That's the kind of gas that's been used uh, in this vault where they're supposed to take off the radiation for you, but you can see that when your eyes go fuzzy, it's a gas. I've been wondering about the different uh, the vault tech underground and also the experimentation that the vault tech have been doing in their vaults. And no doubt this vault is nothing different, so uh, I'll have to be aware of that in the future. Also, another thing I didn't mention was um, they've got collars. They've managed to put collars on the traders somehow, and I suspect they're using some drug to do that with. And that is why I thought, oh, no, a spacesuit, excellent. And that is why I will not go to sleep in Nuka World. I will not climb out of my suit and leave it for any length of time and go to sleep. That's something I will not be doing, because I'm pretty sure uh, they could slap a collar on me, and then that will be game over. Right. And these are no dark bunkers. Colony will feature beautiful, expansive comedy. Where you can relax in an Earth-like setting. Again with the gas, um, that gas, because I'm wearing a power suit, uh, it gas can't really touch me, that's it, I think. But yeah, there's a lot of gas in here. So that's another stone core and another key, which will come in handy for sure. What's we got here? Oh, Project Consumer Guidance. Right, so this is what they're doing. This is Luis today. Bateman reporting on week two of Project Consumer Guidance. Civilian employees are starting to experience extreme headaches similar to the previous study. Luckily, the associated depression has not surfaced, so suicides aren't expected to be an issue. Increase in subliminal messaging frequency continues to have little to no effect on many visitors. But the speed at which the park staff was affected does show that some level of success has been achieved. I recommend moving forward with the audio tours for the next project. Perhaps a higher frequency of messaging fed directly into a consumer who can focus will be more effective. Hundreds of cars spread throughout the galaxy and beyond. Okay, so we've got all the suits, and now we have to just exit the building. Uh, we've also found out that, um, I think I found out that the, um, the Raiders have got access to this gas that they've been using and trying to give subliminal messaging to the visitors. They've got hold of this gas and they've used it on the traders, I think. And so we find out the frightening reality that they do have a weapon which can incapacitate the sole survivor. So I assure you, uh, do not come into this place without a power suit and do not take it off for a minute.
into your spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of both. <laughs> right, let's get back to the hub origins and hand this quest in. See the spaceship from here, just like he promised. Just sitting in that damn junkyard. So close, so tantalizing. But I digress. Do you have the spacesuits? All five. Here they are. Perfect. Here is your payment. We can proceed with the next step in the plan. I'm counting on you to help us with it. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. I know it's a lot to ask. So I'm willing to give you one of Hubology's great treasures if we succeed. You do know it's not a real spaceship, right? Your mind is limited by neurodynes. If you had my expanded mental powers, you would see the truth about the spaceship. Why do you want to capture the spaceship? It is central to Hubology. We are destined to make it fly. More than that, I cannot tell you. It is secret knowledge reserved for AHS-7 members. Together, we can capture that spaceship. I knew I could count on you. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather. Form the wheel. Time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. We can liberate the junkyard and take control of what we need. Thanks to our mercenary, we have the spacesuits to protect us from the robot guards. So put on these spacesuits and take up your arms. We have a mercenary to lead us into combat. They may be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you. So well, that's the last part of this mission to do. I'm going to meet uh, Dara at the hey. junkyard. Uh, well, I'll be able to gain control of the last remaining protect one that's here and get him on my side. And meanwhile, I'll fix my armor, and by that time, they should be here. Right. Catch up to you. I'm too old to run like this. Hey, 
You're more experienced at fighting than we are. How should we do this? You just wait here. I'll do it all. You must be very confident in your skills. It's your decision. We'll wait until you've killed most of them. Would you believe it? They killed the only robot on my side. Well, that's just crazy. Right, let's get this uh, done. I am the Ram. The spoken spoken support me. We fought a great battle today. A battle we could not have won without our friend. It came with a steep price, though. We will mourn Tula's passing. May she join us with the Sky Father, but our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the greatest reward Habology has to offer. For now, rest and celebrate. You have earned it. Why did Tula hey have to die? What a glorious battle. She was you too young. You were magnificent. Too, too young. Too bad about Tula. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again, but we don't have any fusion cores. I have some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. I'll be glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space-worthy. Oh, so that was the stuff that I picked up in the uh, the junkyard. Power distributor. Well, lucky I picked that up. Right, so that's where the fusion cores go. Okay. Heads up. Oh, you shouldn't have. Excuse me. The lights. It's amazing. You've done it. Into the spaceship, everyone! We need to run a test of the system. Come inside with us and turn it on. You'll see that the hub's prophecy is true. So we're here, we've used our four uh, fusion cores to get here, uh, they're all waiting to take off. Let's take this ship into orbit. By the hub, it's working! <laughs> right, well it'll be interesting to see what this spaceship can do. I'm gonna take a screen save. Visions! I'm seeing visions! Ugh. I think I'm gonna puke. Something's wrong! Shut it down! Shut it down! Ah! Right, so that's this mission concluded. Uh, we've done the trip to stars, everyone's dead. I can always get the spacesuits for later. Uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye for now.